Today we're going to talk about some of the concepts that are presented in the first chapter of your textbook. So this first chapter gives some basic information um, about radiologic science. And most of the topics that we touch on in this chapter we'll be coming back to in more depth in the, in the chapters that follow. The first thing that we want to take a look at is matter. So what is matter? Well, when we talk about matter, we basically mean all of the physical objects that you see in the room around you. So anything that occupies space and has mass is matter. Now, if you think about that in a little bit more depth, we know that every physical object around us is composed of atoms. So all matter is composed of atoms. And we're going to look at this in much more detail in Chapter 3. But basically, what you want to remember is that atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And the protons and the neutrons are located in the nucleus of the atom. And then the electrons are moving around the atom, or around the nucleus of the atom. So all matter is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And it's really amazing, if you think about it, that everything that you see around you is made up of just three types of fundamental particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. So everything we see, all the different items that are around you are just made up of three different types of particles. The next thing we want to look at is what do we mean by mass and what do we mean by weight? Usually in our everyday speech, we interchangeably use these two words, mass and weight, but they actually mean different things. Mass is a measure of the quantity of matter in an object. And what we mean by that is really the mass of an object just depends on the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons that make up the object. So that's really what we mean by it's a measure of the amount of matter in an object. When we measure mass, we use units of kilograms. And uh, if you look on anything from a box of cereal to uh, just about anything else you buy these days, oftentimes it will have the mass of that object either in grams or kilograms. Now, the next thing we want to look at is how does that differ from weight? Weight is the force of gravity on an object. So in other words, if you get up in the morning and stand on a scale, what the scale is telling you is what is the force of gravity acting on you at that moment. Now, the reason that we can interchangeably use weight and mass is that they're proportional to each other. So something that has more mass will experience more force of gravity. And so um, a large object will have a large weight. A smaller object would have less weight. The units that we use to measure weight are uh, the pound in the English system of units, and that's probably the one you're most familiar with. In the metric system, weight is measured in newtons. And that's something we'll come back to later because weight is just an example of force. It's the force of gravity. So it turns out that newtons are the unit we use to measure force in the metric system. As I mentioned a minute ago, weight and mass are proportional. So for example, if you have an object that has a mass of one kilogram, here on the surface of the Earth, that weighs 2.2 pounds. So here's a question to see whether you're understanding what we've just been talking about. If you took an object to the moon, would its mass change and would its weight change? What do you think? Well, the answer to that is if I have a mass here on Earth, so let's say I have a five kilogram mass. If I take that mass and I bring it to the moon, 
it still has a mass of 5 kilograms. And the reason for that is because, remember, mass is just a measure of the amount of matter in the object. And that hasn't changed. In other words, the object still is made up of the same number of protons, neutrons, and electrons as it was before. However, what will have changed is the weight. And that's simply because the force of gravity is less on the moon. And you've probably seen at some point um, video of the astronauts on the moon. And you'll notice that as they move around the moon, they kind of bounce in a way that we don't bounce here on Earth. And that's simply because the force of gravity is less. So when you push up, you go up higher. So the mass would not change, but the weight would change. And the weight would actually be less on the moon.